All right, guys, we are ready to do row eight. Now, if you have the pattern in front of you, you will see it says WS-ACB, wrong side, accent color to back. And I guess more importantly, row eight, MC, main color. My main color is white. Take this away. Tighten that back up. I'm going to try to speak louder. My other videos are quite quiet. This one probably is too. The only quiet time I get in the house is when everyone's sleeping. And then it's hard to really be loud when you're worried about waking everybody up. But I will try to speak up and make sure you can hear me. All right. Eight. Always chain three. Wrong side we're looking at because it's all wonky. It doesn't match our picture. Accent color. It's in the back. Holding it to the side. And one B. Now I don't remember if I said this on the other videos, but I'm I'm trying not to go too slow. You can rewind it and watch it a hundred times if you want. So one front, one back. Two front, so this one to make sure it's kind of some of the stitches, even though it's just front and back, they feel different sometimes. So it's kind of fun that we get to make the whole square together. Never done this before. Two back. You can see I I like to hook. Make sure use my thumb to pull this out of the way as well. in here and grab it bring it to the back two back one front and of course there's always a chain space between all of these double crochets one back and end stitch is always in that big window We will go to the next color, opposite color, I suppose we're going to. Okay. This is how I do my patterns. I put a little sticky note so then I know where I am. I feel like I easily can get lost. I don't know, maybe, maybe some of you are more skilled at that than I. But. Um, I was thinking in the comments, you could tell me if these videos are really working for you. Um, let me just repeat what I'm about to be doing. Now that we're on nine, accent color, chain three in the back. Remember, I don't get to choose. It's already locked in there. If it's wrong, I'll have to pull apart my row. So now we're on to 2F. But like I was saying, in the video comments, tell me if this is what you expect out of a little video tutorial. I'm just sort of making it, I'm showing you the stitches, I'm speaking the pattern. I'm not really sure what else I should be doing. I should probably go watch some tutorials. <laughs> I've never actually watched a tutorial for crocheting on YouTube. I don't really watch a lot of YouTube actually. But um, I do know how to edit a video put the little words on there and if you have the pattern from Ravelry you don't even need the words on there so I don't know maybe it's a little redundant you have to tell me send me a message on Facebook YouTube comments I'm not sure Instagram I suppose I don't even know if you've seen my Instagram on this YouTube stuff the last stitch says end and back so in here and pull this red window make sure it's at the back and we're just gonna go in the window and in the back there we go that's the eight and nine done and I'm not making this video that short the other videos were just two rows but we're we are working fast 
I'm working too fast. I'm getting getting lazy with my stitch markers. But they really are better. So I also have to move a little paper. I'm gonna put a two down, maybe maybe I can work fast enough. I want to get this whole thing out for you. And I know some have told me that they only do crochet patterns that are on YouTube, which kind of boggles my mind, but yeah, that's why I'm making them. So I have done my chain three, we're on row 10. Two accent colors in the front, I'm just pulling it off to the side here. Two front. If you get uh, confused about your windows, just straighten everything out and look at it more carefully. I have watched Mikey's tutorials on graph gans because if you see my Instagram you'll see I have a ginormous project that I've been working on. These little squares are pretty fun for me. I think that once you get the concept that it makes things not so hard. So I'm hoping these little videos will make you feel better equipped to get different patterns and then you can make all sorts of fun pictures and there's more than just me out there designing so did I mess this up let me just double check my count I feel confused I'm talking too much you guys are distracting me <laughs> no I didn't mess it up it's all good still okay so one two one back one front, one back, two front. This is why I, I don't really get much crocheting done when the kids are awake either, because then they come, Mom, what's that? What are you doing? How many fingers am I holding up? Like, ah, just stop. <laughs> Maybe you don't know that about me. I think I have a bio written on my Facebook page, but I don't know how to do that on YouTube yet. Someday I'll get that up. I am a mom, stay-at-home mom, I had three little kids, five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a ten-month-old. They are all pretty adorable, but they are all children, and children are loud and annoying, and they don't work well with crochet. Just telling the truth. Alright, one in front, three back. One, two, <laughs> and three. Now my yarn that I'm using doesn't have any label on it because I am a fan of getting free yarn from random people and they give me their scraps and it doesn't tell me what it is. Maybe when I'm a really famous designer, I will know what yarn I'm using and I can give you cool details like that and they'll sponsor me and I'll make millions of dollars. That'll be super fun. Two and it is finally summer here in Canada. Oh, I mean it's spring but it feels like summer today because it's nice and hot. And the house is still really hot. It makes my fingers feel a bit clammy. But it's nice summer didn't last long and in front so 